एक्सरसाइज टेन पॉइंट वन क्वेश्चन नंबर वन फाइंड द रूल विच गिवस द नंबर ऑफ मैथ चिक्स रिक्वायर्ड टू मेक द फॉलोइंग पैटर्न वन ए पैटर्न ऑफ लेटर एच सो टू राइट लेटर एच वी आर गोइंग टू यूज वी आर गोइंग टू यूज थ्री मैथ चिक्स हियर सो दिस इज वन मैथ टिक दिस इज टू मैथ टिक एंड दिस इज थर्ड मैथ टिक so total three mastics we are going to use then the pattern will be 3 into n so that will be 3 n here so here 3 n means n means number of letters here if you are going to use one letter then 3 into 1 that means three mastics are required to write letter h here If you are going to use two letters, that means three uh, into two, so that will be six mastics are required to write letter H here. In the same way, a pattern of letter V here. So a pattern of letter E. So this is uh, one mastic, and this is uh, another mastic here. So two mastics are required here. That means uh, two. Into n, so that will be two n, two n. So if you are going to write only one letter, then two into one. That means uh, two mastics are required to write letter V here. And if you are going to write two mastics or two letters, then two into two. That means uh, four mastics are required to write letter. V here. So in the same way, if you are going to write letter four, then two into four, then that means eight mastics are required to write letter V here. Question number two, given below, is a pattern made from colored tiles and white tiles. First question, draw the next two figures in the pattern above so here uh, pattern is given figure 1 is given figure 2 and figure 3 is given here and we are going to write next two figures here so here when you are going to see here so here figure 4 the white tile so here 1 2 3 are there colored tiles then we are going to use 4 so here 1 2 3 4 so left side also 1 2 3 4 next 1 2 3 4 1 so this is color tiles so this is figure 4 here so this is figure 4 next figure 5 uh, it will have five tiles here so suppose this is center white tile 1 2 3 4 5 here 1 2 3 4 5 here 1 2 so this is the color tiles this is the color tiles the center part will be white tile here so this will be your figure phi here so these are the next two figures in the above pattern here second fill the table given below and express the pattern in the form of an algebraic expression so here figure 1 when you are going to see the number of color tiles is 4 so they asked what is the figure 2 3 4 5 how many number of color tiles is required here so here the uh, 
algebraic expression will be 4 4 into n here so n will be number of color tiles that means in figure 1 number of color tiles is 1 uh, in figure 1 the number of color tiles are 4 here so figure 1 4 into 1 so that will be 4 here in the same way when you are going to see second one so second one means 4 into 2 so the number of color tiles will be 8 here third one 4 into 3 so that will be 12 here and fourth figure 4 into 4 so that will be 16 here and fifth one 4 into 5 so that will be 20 here so these are the number of color tiles required in following figures here third one fill the table given below and express the pattern in the form of an algebraic expression so here uh, figure 1 when you are going to say the number of total tiles are 5 and they asked what are the total tiles you are going to see in figure 2 3 4 5 so here already in the second we have seen the number of color tiles are 4 n and total tiles means the center one will be white tile so it will be plus 1 here so here pattern will be 4n plus 1 here 4n plus 1 so now when you are going to use one tile figure 1 so the number of total tiles will be 4 into 1 plus 1 so that will be 4 plus 1 so that will be 5 here so this is the pattern here now we are going to see in figure 2 that means 4 into 2 plus 1 here that means 8 plus 1 so that will be 9 here so figure 2 total number of tiles required is 9 here in the same way 4 into 3 plus 1 that means 12 plus 1 so that will be 13 here total tiles are 13 required next 4 into 4 plus 1 that will be 16 plus 1 that will be 17 here next fifth figure that means 4 into 5 plus 1 20 plus 1 so that will be 21 the total number of tiles are 21 here question number 3 write the following statements using variables constants and arithmetic operations so in the first one they have given a statement and we are going to write an arithmetic operations here first one 6 more than p so 6 more than p means p is a variable here so p is the variable here and we are going to add 6 here that means plus 6 so this will be the arithmetic expression second x is re reduced by 4 so x is reduced by 4 means x it is reduced by 4 means minus 4 so x minus 4 will be the expression third one 8 subtracted from y so 8 is subtracted from y means y minus 8 fourth one q multiplied by minus 5 so q multiplied by means q into minus 5 so that will be minus 5 q fifth one y divided by 4 so y divided by 4 means y by 4 here sixth one one fourth of the product of p q one fourth of the product of p q that means 1 by 4 into p into q so that will be p q by 4 here next phi added to the three times of x uh, three times of z here so 
5 has added 5 plus 3 times of z means 3 z here 5 plus 3 z next eighth one x multiplied by 5 and added to 10 x multiplied by 5 x into 5 then added to 10 plus 10 so that will be 5x plus 10 here next ninth phi subtracted from 2 times of y phi subtracted from 2 times of y so from 2 times of y means 2 into y and from this phi is subtracted minus phi so that will be 2y minus Phi here. Tenth y multiplied by 10 and added to 13. Y multiplied by 10 and added to 13. So that will be 10y plus 13. 10y plus 13. Question number 4. Write the following expressions in statements. First one x plus 3. So, we are going to write the statement here. So, x plus 3 means x is x is added to 3 or we can write 3 is added to x here. Second one y minus 7 so 7 is subtracted from y here next 10 l 10 l means 10 is multiplied by L here or L is multiplied by 10 or 10 times of L next x by 5 x divided by x divided by 5 here next 5 3m plus 11 so 11 is added to 3 times of m. 11 is added to 3 times of m here. Sixth one. 2y minus 5. So here uh, 5 is subtracted from 2 times of y. 5 is subtracted from 2 times of y here question number 5 some situations are given below state the number in situations in a variable or constant example our age its value keeps on changing so it is an example of a variable quantity so first one the number of days in the month of january so number of months in the month of january it is an example of constant here it is an example of constant so why here in the sense uh, the number of months uh, number of days uh, in the January it doesn't change here so it's a uh, doesn't change means uh, it is a constant here second one the temperature of a day so temperature of a day it is an example of variable here it is an example of variable here why here in the sense it keeps on changing it keeps on changing that means uh, 
temperature of a day so today the temperature will be 37 degrees celsius tomorrow it may be 40 degrees celsius yesterday or next day it may be 28 degrees celsius so here the day temperature is changing so it is a example of variable here third one length of your classroom so length of your classroom it is an example of constant here it is an example of constant that means uh, the length of a classroom it doesn't change here it doesn't change here doesn't change so if suppose the length is 10 feet suppose so today it is 10 feet tomorrow also 10 feet only or after one month when you are going to see then that is also 10 feet so it is an example of constant here next fourth the height of a growing tree it is an example of variable here it is an example of variable so that means the height of a growing tree suppose today it is 2 cm 2 cm tomorrow it will change that means it may go to after a few days it may go to 2.5 cm or after one month then it will go to 3 cm so it is going to change here the height of a growing plant so it is an example of a variable that means the things which change we say it as variable the things which doesn't change we say it is an example of constant here